What is the latest net bear in S&P options? I'm surprised Keith is so bearish on U.S. stocks with last week's figure at 250,000, which generally means equities will rally uh, all else staying the same. Well, I mean, it, it could. I mean, I'm locked into what I think is you know, a very good long-term call, which is the short stocks from July of, again, S&P 500. We waited till we went bearish on the S&P 500 until July of 2015. So, you know, a trade is not going to change my view. I covered a lot of shorts down there on the lows last week. I'm happy to put them back on, but I wouldn't confuse my call. I'm not going to tr change my trend-based call till we get at least through the, the toughest comparisons of the quarter, which are the second quarter, both on profits and on the U.S. GDP cycle. So again, I'm not going to change that. I mean, you can, I look at the, I look at, uh, I'm the one who taught you to look at it, so I, I can still remind you to look at it. Uh, here it is, right here. You guys might have it um, electronically where you can show. The S&P index and E-mini latest net short position, there it is, uh, 223, it's not 250, it's 223,538 uh, net short position. Please don't round up. Um, but again, one year Z score would have to go over two times for me to say, oh, I'm going to take a knee again. And um, there's no need to do that. Everything else is just hope. You know, I've heard, trust me, I, you don't have to trust me. I, I, I suggest that you do trust me because I am telling you the truth on this. And everything else that comes out of my mouth when it comes to our model, how we interact with clients, the feedback loops, trust me, I have had everybody on Wall Street that matters tell me what the next bullish catalyst is going to be for about seven months. The most raging bears at this point are telling me what's the bull catalyst. What I've come to conclude, trust me, is that nobody is more bearish than I am. I understand that, but I also understand that I, am, I have not been and am not consensus. So again, that's where I'm at on this. My question to you is, are you bearish enough?